What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and these are five tips that are gonna help you guys in your clan war leagues each month. We're going through one right now, as you guys may be participating in, and they're interesting wars because you only get one attack, um, and you often have some uneven town hall distributions with you and your opponent clans, depending on what type of uh, town halls you have in your clan typically. Um, so these are gonna be some good tips, very general stuff, um, but helpful that are gonna provide you guys uh, with some tools to, to do better in your clan war league wars. Got some background attacks of my own from our uh, clan war leagues, and um, some of these are not the best bases, but that's what you tend to face when you're in these leagues. If you're not, you know, in one of these top clans that has all Town Hall 13s, uh, the typical clan is going to face some very odd bases. Um, you're going to get a, a good sense of, you know, outside of arranged wars, outside of leagues and stuff like that. This is the types of clans you're facing. Um, so let's get into those five tips, guys. The first one, and I can't stress this enough, you saw it in this attack here on my 13, Funnel, funnel, funnel. The king did a great job coming in that little gap. It was actually very convenient in creating a funnel there. Guys, funneling is so important against these bases um, because typically they're going to be ring style bases. The amount of trash inside the walls versus a typical anti three star base, it's much higher. A much higher fraction of buildings are just inside those walls. So it's very important that you funnel not just into the initial layer of the base, but into Every layer that's needed up into the core, perhaps, if you're doing like a Yeti Smash or a P.E.K.K.A. Bobat or something, you need to get your troops in the core to neutralize that where the town hall is. Do not um, try to save troop space by doing a, you know, a, a Walmart funnel or something. You really got to, whether it's using the Battle Blimp or using your uh, Royal Champion if you're a 13, um, or if it's just using a queen charge and then you know having that be one side of the funnel, make sure it's enough to get the job done. We saw that in this attack. Uh, we'll move on and take a look at a few more as well. And let's take a look at our next tip as well. Um, you got to ask yourself, and this applies to any fresh hit attack, but especially th these attacks because you're the only person that's going to hit that base. You need to ask yourself, if there's a Tesla farm, where is it going to be? Where is it likely? But where else could it be? What are the different locations? And if that Tesla farm, farm pops there, how am I going to adjust? And it doesn't have to be a Tesla farm. It could just be one Tesla maybe that pops and changes the entire pathing. Um, if you're using like a slammer and you want your slammer to go somewhere. If a Tesla pops here, how am I going to adjust? And yeah, it's okay to say it's unlikely. If a Tesla pops, I'll be like, well, oh well, just going to, you know, face roll the screen and hope it goes okay. That's not the worst thing if it's unlikely there's going to be a Tesla there, but oftentimes the defender is going to put a Tesla there because they may have, you know, been attacked a certain way before. So just ask yourself before the attack, if a Tesla pops here or a Tesla farm pops here in these critical locations, how would I adjust? What would I do? Um, don't be having that, uh, you know, internal conversation as it's happening for the first time, like, oh, what do I do? Um, you know, be, be ready for that. Okay, uh, tip number three. This is a uh, kind of a, a cheeky little method, um, is bring a backup battle blimp. What do I mean by that? Well, oftentimes in an attack, you'll bring a siege barracks, you'll bring a stone slammer. You might not be bringing a battle blimp, but if you're a town hall 12 or a town hall 13, you can yourself train uh, siege machines. You can have a battle blimp that you're able to switch to during the attack in case things go south and you have to try to secure the two star. Um, obviously, it goes without saying you do not want a one-star bases, and that can happen and lose you a lot of wars if you do. So a good way to adjust um, to an attack that's already going poorly from the start and you haven't already used your, your uh, CC troops, let's say you're doing a queen charge and the queen doesn't go in the base and she was supposed to get the town hall, well, if you only have a siege barracks, um, you're going to have some trouble getting the town hall perhaps. But if you're able to switch to a battle blimp, you can directly target the town hall and take it out and still get a high percentage two star perhaps, which is enough uh, to be satisfactory. So it's not gonna apply to everyone um, who are lower town hall levels and it's not gonna apply to all attacks. But if you're a 12 or a 13 and you find yourself in a situation where you have an attack that could fit that circumstance, bring that back up battle blimp. There's no reason not to. Um, you just don't have to switch to it if you don't want to. Okay, so those are our offensive-minded tips. I have two defensive tips that I want to get to as well. Um, but first, 
I want to give a quick shout out um, to the attacking side of the equation. Um, if you guys are struggling to get good plans for your attacks, check out my Patreon. We offer a pretty cool perk for a, a good deal. Um, you can post as many different screenshots of bases as you want and get attacking advice, uh, get plans you know, an hour or two after you post them or shorter on how to hit that base, what army composition to use, how to deploy the troops. Um, so that's a good thing to have for wars like these and people, my patrons tend to use the, uh, that service a lot right now um, in these kind of critical wars, to try to get those medals, to try to get their clan leveled up um, in the clan war league system. Uh, so check that out if you're interested, it's a pretty good perk and we also have other perks as well. That being said, let's transition into some of our defensive uh, tips here. The first one is, it relates to the town hall. And the town hall is critical where you put it because it's the difference between a one star and a two star. And hopefully you're not gonna be three star, but <laughs> that could happen too. Um, the town hall, you're gonna use it differently depending on what town hall level you are. If you're a 12 or a 13, you're already used to treating your town hall like a defense, guarding it to some extent. Um, I would say if you're a 12 or a 13, two things. Either have it very isolated, not on the outside of the base, but keep it far from the eagle, from in most infernos. Keep it very set off in a way with some dead space between the town hall and the core of your base. That way, any cheap yeti smash or mass dragon, e-dragon at the town hall side, which is often what people do, has a very low chance of three-starring because there's no bridge between the town hall and the rest of the value in the base. That's one scenario. Other one is put it in the middle of your base, and then the attacker, if they get too fancy, might not have enough firepower to actually take it out. So if you're the top you know, player in your uh, clan, maybe do the middle of the base. If you're not, you know, maybe do the, uh, the first option. Depends on kind of your needs, but do one of those. Don't put it in a place where it's kind of on the outside, but also kind of connected to the rest of the base. That makes it the easiest for the attacker, especially in wars like these. One more attack to take a look at and one more tip, guys. Um, actually, so, excuse me, I skipped for the Town Hall 11s and below. You might be inclined to put your Town Hall on the outside of the base like you would in a typical arranged war or any type of war, really, where you're trying to defend against three stars. Well, that's true because people have cleanup attacks in regular wars. When your base is only being hit once, you don't want to give a free Town Hall. So you can have it on the outside of your base, but have a few archer towers covering it, maybe even an inferno tower is near it, um, expo can cover it. That way people can't drop a few minions, a few archers and take it out. You want them to have to have a plan that's limited by the fact that it has to secure your town hall. If they do a queen charge Lalo from the opposite side, they very well might one star you if the town hall is not easily snipeable. So make it harder just by moving your town hall a little closer into your base, whether it's in that first layer, or if it's still on the outside, it's covered by defenses. That applies to town halls 11 and below. Okay, that being said, our last tip, and this one, I've been preaching this for a long time. If you guys follow my channel uh, and have followed it, you know, since back when I was at town hall nine, town hall 10, I mean, we're talking years. I've been saying this for a while and I will still preach the troll Tesla. <laughs> um, and it's, you know, there's there's no pride in these wars sometimes. You know, you gotta do what works. And if the troll Tesla is going to make a 99% two star happen, then let it be. Um, put the troll Teslas on the outside. If you're one of the lower targets in your war, you're likely to get either dipped or beat up on by a town hall of your equivalent level or above. There's a good chance you're gonna be three starred. Um, use that troll Tesla. Even if you don't think there's a good chance you're gonna be three starred, unless you're like one of your top aces, you might as well because it's pretty good insurance against a three star in that there's, I think, several types of attacks where, you know, you're gonna be using hogs or loons and their defense targeting if they have to go to the opposite side of the base before they can start helping with cleanup. There's a good chance the attacker might run out of time. So there's really not much of a downside to doing it. And I think it can, really be critical and get you some some pretty nice uh, defenses if you if you elect to use it. So I would recommend that for for many players. Don't do it excessively. You don't necessarily have to have multiple troll Teslas, but you can if you want. Um, but one troll Tesla is not a bad idea.
All right, having said all that, hope these these tips were helpful, guys. Um, appreciate you checking out this video. Let me know if you have any other ones in the comments, any other tips for the fellow viewers. I'll be sure to uh, to give it a heart and you know let the other people see it in the comments if you have some wisdom yourself. And one last thing, be sure to enter the creator code BISECT if you haven't already. Help me out and I will continue to help you out with these videos. Until next time, Bisectatron out.